Yo, what's going on YouTube? Um, this one is dedicated to Mike Tao. He died in the ring. He's a Scottish boxer. He died in the ring um, last Thursday facing uh, Dale Evans. It was a, uh, it went five rounds, man. The dude lost. Uh, looked like it was a TKO decision. Um, he had to be t carried out on a stretch stretcher. But uh, in seeing that, man, it was talk about, like, banning the sport of boxing. You know, somebody wrote an article banning the sport, you know, after the dude uh, succ succumbed to his injuries. He passed away. And it reminded me, like, of uh, a fight that I wanted to speak on, you know, because I was kind of upset at the referee for not stopping the fight in a timely manner. Um, but what happened was, man, uh, this fight, Happened like maybe like two or three weeks ago. Uh, it was uh, the fighter was Anthony Yardy, all right, and his opponent was Rayford Johnson, who doesn't have a winning record or anything like that, right? So Anthony Yardy, man, he's from the uh, he's from the UK, light heavyweight, and what happened was um, what ended up happening. This dude Johnson, man, he was like up on the ropes. Yardy, you know, like. Sort of like lunged in with a left hook. It was a clean left hook landing on top of the uh, Rayford uh, Johnson's temple. Dude was out. You know what I'm saying? But the ropes held him up. And uh, Johnson, uh, you know, Yardy, he like knew he had knocked this dude out. Like he, he knew the dude was done because after he threw the punch, he had like walked away. You know, like he turned his back on Johnson. Right? And then he, he looks back and he looks at the ref and like... Yo, you ain't counting this dude out. And he's like, what I got to do? Knock this dude through the rope. So Yardy is about to go back and, you know, you know, do his job, man. He was about to, you know, finish dude and lay the dude out. But then the referee had, like, stopped and stepped in. And, uh, you know, Rayford was in no condition continued. He went on, uh, did the right thing, the referee, and stopped the fight. But it's like... Man, you know, why, why did it take the boxer, you know, to ask the ref to go ahead and stop the fight? And it's been for several other fights like that, man. Several other fight fights like that where a dude is, like, pretty much outclassed, getting beat, and the ref won't stop the fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's waiting for the dude to get knocked out, you know? And it's it's a touchy situation, man, because, you know, you have some referees that stop fights a little bit too early as soon as a dude get in trouble. And then you got some referees that don't stop the fight at all, man. It's like a bloodbath, man. They'd rather just see a bloodbath like the dude ain't laid out on the canvas or something like that. Then they don't stop the fight. Then you have sometimes, like, well, the referee has the nerve the, the count to 10 while the dude's laid out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, damn well this dude ain't getting back up. <laughs> he gonna sit there and do a count, man. And this just got me to thinking, man, like, you know, you know, why does it have to get to that point, man, in, in some of these fights where, you know, dudes, ain't, ain't nobody looking out for these guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you got three people that can stop the fight, man. Um... You know, you got one is it's the corner. You know what I'm saying? One is the corner. Then you got the dude in the ring, the third man in the ring, the referee. Then you got the ring physician, man. You got the ring physician. Now they say the corner can't stop the fight, but they can. You know what I'm saying? They could throw a towel in or jump in the ring, get DQ or whatever like that. It doesn't matter. You know, they, um, you know the same thing what we saw with Kell Brook with GGG, man. You know. The corner was like, yo, stop the fight. My man's getting beat up. I don't want my man hurt. And you got some people was like, oh, you stopping too early. Like, nah, man, you ain't stopping too early, man. Brooks supposed to be like a little dude. Even though he's big, he ain't as big as uh, GGG at the end of the day. Gennady Golovkin at the end of the day. Going up two weight classes against a power puncher. You know, why, why do we want to see the dude get beat down like that, you know? And this made me think of some other fights, man, where it's, like, obvious, like, you know, uh, a dude is outclass and, like, nobody's happy until, until, you know, the box is, like, laid out on a canvas, you know? We, 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 you know, it, it, it was like, uh, I'll give you one example, man. Javier Fortuna, right? Well, like, I, I saw him fight this fight when he was coming up before he got his belt. 
when he fought this dude, and I just knew Javier Fortuna was going to, like, whitewash this dude, man. I just knew he was going to run through him, and he did, man. I mean, this dude, like, was throwing punches. He couldn't even touch Javier Fortuna with a bag of rice, man, and Javier Fortuna lit him up, right? Then dude got back up, and he got lit up again, right? And then I was watching it with somebody. There was like, and the referee went on to stop the fight. And he was like, oh, man, he stopped the fight too early. And I was like, what? I was like, what? I was like, nah, man, you know, uh, he, dude's outclassed, man. We don't want the dude to get hurt or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he going to get this man killed. Because obviously he can't do nothing with Javier Fortuna. I don't think the dude was able to land a punch. You know what I'm saying? So, in saying that, man, y'all let me know what y'all think, man, because you got some, I mean, it's it's getting to the point now, man, where you got some boxers, they have to say, in in the corner, you know, in front of these referees and with all these cameras running, man, they on national television and stuff like that, where they have to say, you know, I don't want to fight. You know what I'm saying? The corner's not even looking out for them, man. The corner's not even looking out for him. And they gave that uh, Kell Brooks, uh, you know, coach or trainer, whatever like that, hell. But, you know, at least that dude was looking out for him. At least he didn't have to have Kell Brook take a knee or quit or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these boxers, they got pride, too, at the end of the day. And, you know, despite what we say and stuff like that, we if a dude quit, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are just going to call him a quitter. You know, people just going to call him a quitter, even though, like, half his eye might be hanging out or he just got knocked down, like, three times prior, you know, with him bleeding and got cuts all over his face. The dude had enough courage to get up. Can't, nobody can, like, stop the fight and, like, save his life or save him from himself. You know, well, why, why does he have to go out like a quitter, you know? Or, or go out on his stool. You know, why, why can't the corner just say, oh, we stopping the fight? You know, at least allow the dude do some theatrical, like, no, why stop the fight? And all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? At least, at least, at least let the guy have some face at the end of the day. At least he can say his corner stopped the fight or the referee stopped the fight. You know what I'm saying? At least, you know, let the dude, like, have his pride at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at least a little bit of pride. But that's all I got to say on that, man. So, uh, yeah, you know, um, God bless, uh, you know, Mike and uh, and Dale, because, you know, Dale, he got to deal with that. You know, uh, I wouldn't want to say he killed the man in the ring, but, um, yeah, ain't no telling what he going through. So, dude passed, passed away. You know, he might feel a certain way about that. I mean, Nigel Ben. Versus, uh, what was it, uh, the G-Man, what was it, like, McCullen, Joe McCullen or something like that? Yeah, man, I mean, dude suffered a brain injury and stuff like that, and he was disabled, but he, he didn't even die, and Nigel Ben, you know, he felt a certain way about that. Who was that other dude, man? Oh, man. Perret, what was that guy, uh, Benny Perret or something like that? Oh, man, I forgot to fight, man. Damn, what's this dude's name? Anyway, man, you you guys know who I'm talking about. Perret died in the ring. I forgot who he fought. Uh, cause he called the dude gay. The <laughs> yeah, I forgot that guy's name, man. He just passed away not too long ago. Um, I think he was like yeah, he was like two weight classes. He was like a uh 147 champion and 160 champion, man. I can't. Oh man, why can I think of this dude's name, man? But uh, the dude he uh, ended up knocking out was Perret, man, because the dude that called him gay and whatnot. That dude never fought the same ever again. Like I don't even think he got like a knockout after uh, uh, Perret died in the ring. I think I'm saying his other dude's last name right too. But anyway, man, I'm going to let y'all go, man. Thanks for listening. Let me know what y'all think, man. Look, look, look. Was the guy named Griffin? Yeah, I think the other dude's name was Griffin or something like that. But anyway, man, let me know what y'all think about that, man. Yeah, yeah, you think it's ridiculous, man? You know, I mean, should these referees... 
or the corners? Should they be held liable for some of these boxes, you know, dying in the ring? Or these boxers uh, sustain uh, sustaining severe injuries and stuff like that. Um, you know, should 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 they be fined or something like that? Because it it don't it don't look like nobody looking out for them at the end of the day. Sometimes, man, I think the corners be too emotionally wrapped up into these fights instead of just looking out for their boxers. All right, man, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.